I'm your friendly neighborhood, Endman64, and I am bringing you another episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. In the last episodes, we took out, down, and completed Terra's story. And I figured, now that we're done with him, it's time to move on to our next character. Should it be Ven, or should it be Aqua? To be honest, I'm not sure which one we should do, but you guys know who I'm going to do next. Nothing against anybody else, but I feel like Ven is the one we should be doing next. Primarily because, well, he's got the next batch of stories and characters and events and shenanigans that we have to do. Nothing against Aqua, and of course we'll be getting to her as soon as possible, but... Like I said, Ven has the second act of most of these stories. Now, as you can see, we have uh, some repetitive cutscenes here, so... From this point on, I'm probably going to be talking over them and, like, giving you, like, little tidbits about what to do with these events because, well, we've seen these events, so they're just coming from someone else's perspective. But so certain cutscenes do have that repetitive nature to them. I think you'll know which ones they are one, but as we the get to them. Stand here as now, Ven, if you will recall from the earlier episodes, is a lot faster than Terra. But he's not as powerful as Terra, and he's also not as gifted with magic as Aqua, so... He's gonna be a bit of a more he's gonna be more of a balanced type of playable character for us, so I trust you are If you liked using Sora just as like a mixture of both magic and melee, he'll he'll probably fit in well for you. Just for me personally, I find Ven is a, probably the most challenging to use effectively. But that's just because a lot of the moves that Ven gets that he's really good with are some of the most common moves in the game, like Thunder Surge and Strike Raid. He's really good with moves like that. So it doesn't necessarily really matter, you know, which of them... You're in danger here. Go wait in your room. Which way you no go way. with then, with either magic or with uh, melee attacks. With Terra and Aqua, it was you it's have to go it. one way or the other. With then, it's more. With then, it's a mix, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. It gives the game a little bit more variety to it. I at least have fun with it because it's a Kingdom Hearts game, one one of my personal favorite Kingdom Hearts games. Same boss fight or same mini fight as it was the first time around. You gotta defeat the balls of light darkness or dark lightness or whatever the hell we're calling this. Just defeat the balls. Defeat the balls and you'll do just fine. Now then as you can see, he rolls around, he does the dodge rolls, he's fast, he gets He's good. Ven is good at doing a lot of damage in short periods of time, and like extended periods of time. With Terra, it was all about like slugging your opponents into oblivion. Ven is a little different, and I, I like that. That each character is different, and you can't really mend one with the other. I thoroughly enjoy that. And as usual, our uh, guest's AI is useless, so. They've already lost half their health, and I have significantly less health than they do, so I may as well finish the job. We got an HP boost, and we've got the command style for Fever Pitch. Which is... I'll admit, of the three main command styles for each character, as you will recall, the command styles are based off of elemental That's attacks unexpected. and such forth. Uh, of but the three main ones for each character, I think this one is my least favorite. An and that's just test. because Terra's is so strong and Aqua's is just so Which brings us to your next out try. there that I can't possibly hate it. But whatevs. Now, Terra and Aqua, the two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin! <laughs> To 
be honest, that really shouldn't fail him for the mark of mastery. All I'm saying is, if you were smart, the Keyblade is a weapon of light, I will give we you that, but you'd want someone decision. who at least... Terra, Aqua, I don't know. you both perform commendably. However, only Aqua... Maybe it's just that I feel like Terra got the short end of the stick of Terra, these three. You fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. But, there but is hey, that's what it was meant to be. That is all. Aqua, as our newest Keyblade Master, you are entitled to certain knowledge. Please wait here for further instruction. Hey. Tara, I'm sorry. The darkness, where did it come from? They all have really, really huge hands. What do you make of Like, that? we used to laugh and make fun of Sora for his big yeah, feet. Cut it. But, damn. Somebody's gotta break that loose. Damn, hand. damn, damn, damn. Does everybody in Not this here, series of the original characters have I huge have hands? To keep up you'll see. You'll see in a later scene in Ven's story he just needs that they do have huge hands. That extremely huge hands. And it's just freaking weird. It's just weird. I don't know. Skeeves me out. You know? But I need some time alone. Oh, look at that wooden keyblade. That's adorable. But it's got Terra's name on it, so Ven must have stolen it. Rat bastard. Better hurry, Ventus. Huh? Who are you? Or you'll never see Terra again. What? Get real. I can see Terra anytime I want. Like right now? He's leaving you behind. And by the time you catch up, he'll be a different person. Look, whoever you are, you don't know the first thing about Terra. Me and him will always be a team. You trying to pick a fight or what? No, oh, grow up. Is that what you call friendship? You'll never know the truth unless you go out and look for it yourself. Come on, what could you possibly know when you're stuck here, looking at nothing but what's in the tiny world? Yelling at Terra for, I mean, Ven for, like, what the hell? Terra, you dick, that's not necessary. In fact, none of this plan is necessary. Terra. Whatever. I guess we have to get Terra. Ven out on his journey. I mean, look at how big his freaking hands are! Terra's the only one with normal-sized hands! I mean, you know what they say about people in their hands, Waka Waka. Alright, I'll shut up. I've done enough damage for one lifetime. There goes Lingering Will again, even though he's not Lingering Will yet. He will be there at some point. He needs the cape, though. Which I love just magically appeared at the end of Terra's fight with Xehanort. That was fun. And don't give me this spoiler crap. We've already played through all of Terra's story, so we know what happens. Right now, it's just a matter of degree. Oh, well, we know what happens to Terra. The other two, we have no idea about yet. And I won't spoil that. Let's see Ven's armor. It's... It's not bad. I wish they did something along the lines of, like, everybody had, like, their own unique armor style. Ven's looks, like, a little bit more too much like Terra's for my liking. 
Oh, wow. Cry me a river, Aqua. We gotta go on our boys trip. For the weekend. We're gonna go to, like, Agrabah or something. But we have our D-Links, and that's what matters. D-Links still go the same way as they did with Terra, so you don't really have to worry about that. And we got Xehanort's letter! We're not gonna be doing our homework until later on down the line, so we're not gonna worry about that at the moment. We can go play on the command board, but I'm not gonna be playing that command board. Because we played it as Terra, we're gonna be doing the rest of them as Ven. I don't think Snow White's world has one, though, I'm afraid. And that's the only world we are able to get to right now. So let's go! And hey, wouldn't you know, Terra didn't see any, like, mountain areas over here. When he was here, he was stuck in the Queen's castle. Huh? Oh. And looky there, it's a bunch of little people. Then you're not supposed wow. to stare. Then <laughs> you're not supposed to stare, it's impolite. Especially at poor Dopey in the back. And welcome once again to the Dwarf Woodlands with demon trees and a house. A lot of things we did not see at all of when we were here as Terra. But that's okay. We can do some exploring. And the thought occurred to me as I was setting up this project. Actually, the, the first time I was setting up this project, I made this comment when I did this area when I was playing as Ven. Ven doesn't really get a setup to the Unversed like Terra and Aqua do. He's not present when Master Ericus explains what they are. And because of that, Terra Ven's just beating up things he doesn't know what they are. He's just assuming he has to beat things up, so... I think Ven lived a very dark life when he was a kid, and I'm going to die. Let's, uh, use a D-Link. Because I'm not gonna die before we've even had a single... major event happen in the Snow White world. That would just be silly. But at the very least, I can mess around with Terra's D-Link since we didn't get to use that the last time around. Terra's is unique. It's sort of the opposite of Ven. Whereas... He'll be doing more dam. You'll be doing more damage with Terra, but his commands will take longer to recharge. So you don't want to spam commands with Terra's D-Link. It's a little dangerous. But of course, that only happens once you get the next level up, which you shouldn't get until roughly around the time you beat the second or third world in the story, which we're not even close to doing because we haven't beaten the first world. Unless you count the land of departure as the first world, which I don't. That's literally just one fight in a cutscene. A bunch of cutscenes. Then does not get a cool uh, shot lock command at first. This is one that everybody starts off with. He starts off with Flame Salvo, which is Basically, just one where you're just shooting a bunch of fireballs at everybody. It's not that... Little men! Terra! Sorry, Terra. I'm so used to calling out Terra for his stupidity. Then, come on! Uh, you disappoint me. You're supposed to be better. You're supposed to be better than Terra. You goof. Little men. Little men. They're being so mean. They're, they're called dwarfs for a reason. And they're fantasy dwarfs. They're not, like, just little people that we're calling that. That's not cool. Call them by their names, damn it. <sighs> Alright. Time to go see what they do for a living. 